after years of trial and error, a breakthrough for treating glaucoma. Scientists at Taiwan's Industrial Technology Research Institute, or ITRI, have developed a new dual-target medicine for the condition, which causes loss of vision and blindness. They say it manages high eye pressure more effectively and safely by targeting two enzymes, helping reduce clogs and drain eye fluid at the same time. 就算现在青光眼有一些治疗的药物，可是它对我们所谓的超高眼压，目前其实是没有药物可以治疗的。青光眼的药物其实很长一段时间都没有新的药物开发。Division director Felice Chang says her team was determined to find a solution for glaucoma since it's the leading cause of blindness in developed countries. A progressive disease, glaucoma occurs when the optic nerve is damaged. The odds for this increase with abnormal eye pressure and with age. In Taiwan, there are about 430,000 glaucoma patients, but the diagnostic rate among people over the age of 70 is about 50%. That means half of seniors with the condition don't know they have it. Now it's also being found in younger patients. Taipei-based eye doctor Ke Yujie says another major risk factor is nearsightedness or myopia, a common condition in East Asia. We have a lot of myopic eyes in our population. For eye doctors, our worry is because we are facing an aging population and because of digitalization, so more and more patients are myopic. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely the prevalence of glaucoma will increase. In our daily clinic, some, some patients with 20 or 30s, they come to our clinic to make, want to make sure whether they have glaucoma or not. Current glaucoma treatments cannot reverse damage to vision, but can stop it from getting worse. Still, a big problem, Ke says, is getting patients to follow instructions and use eye drops regularly at the same time each day. If we have a better a drug, have greater potency, greater tolerability, there will be definite a uh, way to persuade. At the same time, Ke says eye doctors are switching their strategy, bringing in laser and surgical options earlier to give patients a better chance at getting glaucoma under control. As for getting better medication options, Chang and her team's eye drops are still undergoing clinical trial, but they've already snagged the Global Edison Award for innovation and caught the attention of patients. 那也会就是在展场，就是很想要把我们的眼药水当成是纪念品就拿走，但这次是不行。这也是让我们知道说，其实这个临床上面的需求，就是在一般的民众上面其实是非常的迫切有这样子的需要。Eye specialists are hopeful this new option will help thousands when it hits the market. Aside from meds, eye doctors still urge people to get regular checkups and also to look up from their phone and computer screens once in a while as the easiest form of eye care. Luthi Lee, Joseph Wu, and Joyce Sen for Taiwan Plus.